Good day to all of you. So in this video tutor tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple Hello World program using the Tinkercad platform. So Tinkercad is an online platform. So again, let's open a br web browser and type the address, the URL, which is tinkercad.com. And then please wait to load the web page of the Tinkercad. So this is the web page of the Autodesk Tinkercad. Uh, again, Tinkercad is very beneficial if you want to simulate your Arduino project even without Arduino board on without any Arduino board on hand. So the only downside is of course you have to have an internet connection for it to work. So let's sign in again inside our account. And then I use Google account. And then select the account that you signed up for for Tinkercad um, web page. And then again, wait for it to load. So again, we're already inside the Autodesk Tinkercad dashboard. So let's click this circuit. And then again, since we're creating a new circuit, let's click create new circuit. And wait again for the workspace to load. So we're already inside the workspace. And again, um, Tinkercad auto generates a temporary file name for you. So we have fantastic jake's cup so it's a very good um uh, actually amazing file name compared to the arduino ide and web editor which only describes sketch underscore the date okay so since we already going to create an arduino sketch so let's click code okay but in your first attempt uh, there's a message no programmable components in the circuit so why 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 this uh, message appear? It's because you do not have any components. Uh, uh, you you did not drag any components yet in the workspace. So the only thing that we need here for this tutorial for this, uh, for the Hello World program is the Arduino board itself without any components. So let's drag an Arduino Uno R3. So again, leave the name into uh, with one. Okay, then. If we're going to click the uh, code editor, okay, so it will be enabled because you've already um, dragged an Arduino board in the workspace. Okay, the default um, coding or the, de uh, the default for coding in Tinkercad is the block programming. Actually, this is was adapted in the scratch programming. Uh, it looks like a puzzle. Actually, this um, type of programming technique is for children because it looks puzzle like so for children to be uh to be motivated to learn programming um to be honest i am not uh, well versed with black programming because as you can see arduino uses the traditional uh programming style so but we can also select that so that you will not be confused with black programming and using the traditional way of programming so from this drop down box of course, we have the blocks, blocks plus text is the combination of both. And then we're going to use text. Okay, so there's a dialog box. A uh, pop-up uh, question here. Are you sure? So are you sure you want to close the blocks editor? Any blocks you currently save will be lost. The code in the text editor will remain and become editable. So let's click continue. Okay, for the text, um, there is already content because I already used it as a test if this Tinkercad really works and it works for simulation. So let's just remove the contents for the void setup and for the void loop. Um, I do not remember uh, if I typed the void setup and void loop here, but as an advice, if ever unlike um, Arduino IDE and Arduino Web Editor that generally generates the void setup and the void loop 
uh, functions. Um, if if this uh, Tinkercad does not generate also, then you have to type void setup uh, open and close parentheses and then open and close curly brackets by pair and then void loop and then open and close parentheses and then open and closing curly brackets. You can put the open uh, open curly brackets right after the parentheses, but you, uh, there's no problem with that. The important thing is that the curly bracket must come in pairs. And then another one, void setup and void loop should not be interchanged because setup is, this is where you're going to declare your variables and then void loop is more of the operation. So you cannot uh, uh, declare first or put uh, void loop at the top because of the processing of, of these codes is sequential. So it will process first line one, line two, so on and so forth in sequence. So again, you cannot put first void loop and then void setup. So for the hello world, okay, so a good programming um, habit is indent the contents. For example, if you are inside a function block. So again, we have, we're going to use the serial dot begin. Then the baud rate 9600. Okay, so it's not, uh, it's um, color coding is not that comprehensive as the Arduino IDE and uh, Arduino web editor. But it has a color code for void and the uh, 9600 and then serial dot print ln then hello world. Uh, it has a color coding for a string. And then again, leave the void loop. And then we have the serial monitor here. So how are we going to run this program? It's by means of clicking the start simulation. Okay, so let's check. Okay, actually we have this feature download code, libraries, and then we have a debugger also. So uh, let's uh, let's start the simulation. Actually, there is no explicit, just like the Arduino IDE and web editor, that it has a verify and uh, save. It only has the simulation. A simulation will check if this is working. So let's uh, it initializes. Let's check. Okay. So let's look at the serial monitor since we're using. A serial monitor. Okay, it only outputs one hello world because you declared uh, the serial that print ln inside the void setup, meaning it will only display once. Okay, so it's correct. Uh, let's try to make an error here inside the Tinkercad in uh, in their um, text editor. Just see how does the uh, Tinkercad detects errors okay no okay um okay why am i um pressing backspace but it does not react oh it does not it, that does not mean it it hangs because the cursor is still blinking it's because you are still in the simulation mode so before you edit your code you have to click stop simulation so then you can edit so again let's remove the semicolon and then let's see the reaction or is there any error message that we will encounter okay so uh, the only thing is that it does not really highlight the line where the error has occurred it only looks at here so sorry it seems like your code has some errors okay in function void setup uh, six and then for error, expected semicolon before serial, exit status 1. So the only, dis, uh, it's not disadvantage, it, for improvement is that um, the highlight should be on the exact line where the error has occurred. So it, it's more difficult uh, for, for, for checking errors here because the, the highlight is not on the exact line. So okay, so you have to semicolon another let's create another error 
Okay, for example, remove the double quotes in the hello world again. Okay, so for start simulation, it does not have for Tinkercad the upload because we do not have any board available. These are all simulation. So let's click start simulation. So again, it does not really highlight the line number where the error has occurred. So sorry, again, it seems like your code has some errors. So in function, again, in void setup, so error, hello, was not declared in this scope because uh, because of there is no double quotes, it considered it as a type of variable. So it is uh, the, the compiler has assumed that it is a variable. And then exit status 1. So again, to correct the error, let's put again the double quotes to the to to make the hello world as a string not as some name of a variable and another error again so that's why uh, let's demonstrate it okay let's make the serial small letter and then let's start simulation okay there's an error again sorry it seems like your code has some errors so in function void setup so Again, it, uh, it, that it does not, again, uh, determine exactly. So, actually, it's in line 3. So, serial was not declared in this scope because, again, the declared syntax for serial is capital with capital letter S. So, serial with small letter S is different. So, that's why, again, syntax is very strict uh, for using C-like programming language. So, suggested alternative. So, it's very, very good that it has a uh, an option or a suggestion that serial must be capital letter S and then exit status 1. Okay, so let's make it again capital. So again, uh, let's check it again if it is already correct. So if, if this um, change to stop simulation and it is already a simulator time here, meaning that your code is correct okay i did not clear the first so that's why there are two but then if you cleared it and then stop simulation and then if you're going to run it again you'll see that of course there is one hello world okay then let's clear it again okay next is what if we want to display hello world for new line in succession. So again, let's cut. Okay, cut and paste is also working in here. Okay, so paste. Okay, so let's put serial.println hello world inside the void loop function. And then again, any changes will automatically be saved so you don't have to worry. And then let's click again start simulation so again we have no errors since it um it changes to stop simulation and then for the serial monitor you can see that it continuously generates hello world per line and as you can see with the simulator time it really continues to run until the arduino is powered on so Let's stop simulation. And then if you want, of course, uh, this is not a very good um, description for your uh, what you're doing with your Arduino sketch. So let's type hello world. Okay, then enter. Okay. So this is it for the uh, Tinkercad tutorial. Um, you... Uh, we have a Hello World Arduino sketch used in Tinkercad. Again, the advantage of using Tinkercad is that you can simulate your Arduino project even without component. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And thank you very much for watching. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and good day.